Hello. Uh, yeah, this is just a short talk about some unexpected features I found in a cloud stuff. Uh, yeah, there's nothing groundbreaking there, but there are some amusing things I found, so I wanted to share. Uh, yeah, just before we start, a word about me. Uh, I'm Crunch on Freenode. Uh, you can find me on Ash of Sugar. Uh, I'm usually more into kernel and debuggers and stuff, uh, but yeah, sometimes I like to play with web services as well. Uh, yeah, I'm in related to uh, Richard Stallman or Captain French, if you ask. Uh, I had that question before, so just, just so you know. Uh, yeah, the usual question is, what do you do? And uh, actually, I just cycle around at the moment. That's what I've been doing since March. Uh, oh, you cannot really see it, but I went from London to Berlin and then. Nuremberg, and now I've been cycling to here. Uh, yeah, so that's what I do at the moment. But uh, anyway, this is about. Uh, this is not about me. This is about uh, some stuff that we well, like a lot of things. It starts on the IRC channel uh, some time ago. Uh, uh, there were friends using uh, some some cloud service where they could upload files and share it. So they, someone pasted a URL and was saying, "Yeah, oh yeah, at my company we have that game. We call that Cloud Roulette, uh, where you just change the URL and try to find interesting stuff." It's like, and I look at the URL and I see that's not. No, I mean that should be easy to brute force. No, I mean that's like. Less than 15 million possibilities. Oh, yeah. What do you do with that? Well, uh, so the the, the thing the, the service is actually uh, so yeah. You just you can just upload files, and uh, it gives you a URL back that in that form, and the blob part is just one to four characters, and uh, yeah. The, uh, and that's not random at all. It's just a counter, but it's just not in the symbol. Uh, so yeah, it looks random if you don't know what random is, but it's not random at all. So you know. So what do you do with that? Well, the first thing was just to uh, the, the the idea was really just to try to index everything they have. So yeah, I wrote some 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 like less than a, a few tens of lines of. Perl and, and Bash, and I got uh, the thing indexed in like 48 hours or something. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I blame my friend for it uh, with the user agenda. So. Uh, yeah, so the, the technical details of the script is just I don't I didn't I, I just used the mat base calc Perl uh, module, so I didn't even have to to figure out how to count in that strange base with numbers just. Just use that. Uh, I just find the last value where there is no more files after that, and then I split that address space in manageable chunks, and I just spawn and read worker, worker threads that do just, just go and check for every file, perform a HTTP add request, uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, each of these uh, worker threads will would print out. Uh, yeah, information about each of the URLs. So the information I collected is detailed here. Uh, so you have the, the first part, which is just the, the blob part of the URL, the URL, uh, the time it's been retrieved, uh, the, the, the HTTP response code, 200 means, yeah, the file exists, it's fine. Uh, the, the end time is the last modified. A uh, bit of the the HTTP header, so that's presumably when the file has been uploaded. There is also uh, it or miss uh, cache information in the in the response the server was was uh, sending, so I kept that and we'll see later how it can be interesting. Uh, the size of the file and obviously the name of the file. So that's just two examples. The first file you could retrieve at that address, for example. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, yeah. So yeah, once I got that big file, I just wanted to s try to see what I can could get out of that. Uh, so yeah, I indexed everything from zero to one, and you see that's like uh, yeah, less than a quarter million of addresses, <laughs> and less than half of that was there was actual files available there. So that breaks down into 
uh, this is a logarithmic scale. Uh, that's the HTTP response code for each uh, thing. And you see about alpha fit was 404, alpha fit was 200, and the rest was 500 and 400. I didn't really investigate that, but that I should probably should have try and see what these internal error things are for these files. So yeah, 500 is internal error for this on the server side. 403 is forbidden. That could have been interested to dig into that. I don't even remember what 400 is. So. Uh, yeah, nice graph is again. Um, so yeah, I, I looked also at uh, the file extension. You know, the, the last part of the file name, and uh, that's linear scale again. Uh, and yeah, what I found is that most of the the large majority of the files were just JPEG files, and when you look at them, it's mostly screenshots apparently. So apparently, people use that service a lot for uh, just uploading screenshots, I guess. Uh, and then yeah, I was a bit disappointed. There are not many movies in there, so uh, yeah, some 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 music files, but not so much. Yeah, mostly screenshots in the term of number of files. But if you look in the uh, quantity of data on there, uh, you see, uh, yeah, there are about half a terabytes of zip files. And that's the majority of the stuff. And I didn't actually index what's in the zip files uh, because I just looked at the metadata, not the actual content. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, in terms of quantity of data, you see. It's not the, the screenshot. You, you cannot even see the JPEG files in there. Uh, they just form a, a very small amount of uh, the data that's stored on that service. So uh, yeah, I figured out if I wanted to make a presentation about this, I should publish some findings or something. So uh, the, the the first thing I, I, I realized is that uh, yeah, you can actually figure out what's the next when when you when the next person is going to upload something, you already know what URL it will be at. So you could have a script that just uh, check that URL every every second or something, and you know when a file has been uploaded. And you so you can basically see the the logs of the server in real time, pretty much, which is interesting. I find. Uh, yeah, another finding is that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you you don't really want to look at uh, the content of the files. Uh, so yeah, well, one of them was that's that's more like a funny one, but it's like uh, yeah, it was a a movie of uh, people dressed up as dinosaurs having sex and uh, speaking what sounded to me like German. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> You can find all kind of stuff there. But there were less pleasant stuff, and that's when I decided I want to just look at the metadata and not the actual content. Uh, yeah, another finding. So uh, whenever I perform the add request, the HTTP add request on the on the server, it says uh, whether the the file is in cache or not, and the add request itself doesn't change that status. So if the file is not in cache and you, you check on it, it will still not be in cache on the next time you check. So that can give you an indication of when someone accessed the file. So you could imagine, for example, uh, you upload a file and uh, you, you send the, the link to someone, and uh, then you you know when he, he, he is reading his email. So you just check when the, the status of the, the cache changes, which I find interesting as well. Um, another thing is that looking at the the logs I collect, uh, well, uh, the, the the data I collected, I see that uh, there were sequences of files that look the same. So you can see, for example, here someone uploaded like these three PDF files. Uh, pretty, well, well, it's pretty, you can see it's obviously the same person who did that. I mean, look at the the timestamp and the name of the files. So, it's, uh, so there are things you, you could correlate uh, files in a way that you could imagine someone uploading his CV and then uploading his sex tape uh, just after that, and you could probably figure out who it was. Well, you can link the the the, the, the two files to some person to the same person. So, 
Yeah, I, I would, uh, because the URL looks random, I, I'm pretty sure some people rely on anonymity, uh, well, or rely on the service to anonymize things. And if they upload multiple files at one, and one of them, they don't want to, to link, to be linked to each other, that, that won't work. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's clear. Uh, yeah, uh, another finding is that I found pretty, I was disappointed to find that there was not so much porn in that. Uh, yeah, a quarter million files and, uh, no, it, yeah, it was you know, about two, uh, sorry, 100,000 files and less than 400 that had names that sounded promising. Uh, but yeah, most of the porn there were this was yeah, pretty much not professional, so I don't know if it was the actual users uploading it or, but yeah, if you're into amateur stuff, you, you, I'm sure you can find something there for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, after I, uh, after I did this, like a few weeks later, they, they reali the, the people running the service uh, realized there was a, a, a problem, I guess, because they changed how it worked. No, the, the blob part of the, the, the URL is actually a relatively long random string, and I know some people working there, not in that team, but, well. Uh, and uh, apparently they, they, they talked uh, between them, and uh, apparently, the, the blob part is really random now, so you cannot really index things as easily anymore. So uh, that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, and the reason they did that apparently is because they, uh, yeah, they, they were worried about people relying on the anonymization of the service, uh, which we saw earlier doesn't really work if you upload multiple files at once. Uh, yeah, well, that's about it. Any questions or discussion about this? Questions? <laughs> <laughs> so the name of the service, uh, yeah, uh, I will only reveal that under, under extreme drunkenness. Uh, and yeah, it's still very early, so I have not drinking that much yet. Why am I cycling so much? Uh, I don't know. It sounded like a good idea when I started. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> Did I notify the service? Uh, actually, no, I didn't notify the service. Yeah, I'm a bad person. Um, I just, yeah. Uh, no, I, I told with friends with it, and I know the friend who works there didn't even notify them either, so I don't know if they noticed what I did in the logs, or if someone else did it and noticed, notified them, or if they just noticed it internally. But no, I didn't notify them. More I'll questions? Uh, please, please give the speaker a uh, well. Oh, there's, there's another question. When you upload when you upload a file, do they give you a cache hit or miss notification also if they already have have a copy of that file? So okay, uh, I'm I'm not sure. I I don't remember if when you put a file, it, it, it's it gets in cache or not. Um, now what but if is it is already in cache, you could probably just make many requests for other files and evict it from the does, cache. Does the upload protocol involve sending a hash of the file before sending the file? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay. I've never actually used the service to upload files. I just index it. <laughs> well, please give the speaker a well-deserved well round of applause.